Okay, we have our first uh, hit by Jensen's hand here, which looks like that. Now we're on the draw, sadly. So, yeah, obviously a mulligan. We need to find our Cascada. Which is here is a 5 mana one. So I think this is also a mulligan. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this deck. Uh, I go to Pi, he caps. I think he can't keep this either. We go down, and there here is our Cascaders. So we have red, white, land. So I think we put down the Charles agent. And. Can we type nothing? Three, put three down. Then to the point. Yeah, and now if we if we play the creature, we can demonic dread, and then Xenagos double the amount of power of the fighty zone and fought everything. Now we are waiting for black mana, and that he plays a creature, and then we can. Maybe win? Let's see. It's a blue deck though, which is uh, scary. Okay, Emery. So now we need the, the black mana and we can win, I think. So we can... Hmm. I think we don't do anything. There's only one thing that you could play. Can Fury. I think it's not worth it. Yeah, no, we're just waiting. Okay. Can we stop? Let's just go run. Black mana, great. Okay, let's see how this evolves. Go for black green, I think. Sacrifices. Cascade into our hypergenesis. On turn three. Pass to Hypogenesis. And now we put stuff in the battlefield. I think I start with a, with a Fury. Then I start with a Solitude. He doesn't want to, so we go for a Dinosaur friend. And then we go for Xenagos. He stops. Now we have to resolve our triggers. I think we decline the Fury as a Solitude. Do the Fury. Up to okay. Now this has to fight. Fight everything. And now we give the 10 10 trample and haste and smack him for I think lethal damage. Ah, he has to fight all the other stuff too. Anyway, uh, okay. 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 These are our whole triggers. Go to combat. Relaxing the trigger. Gives us trample and haste. And attack for 20 on turn 3. With trample. Oh, is it? Oh no. 
can make a 1 1. So it doesn't have scramble. Okay, he's still good. That's still a good turn 3, I guess. Now he has like more champ material. I think next time we double the solitude since we can get a knife. Okay, he has a demonic. So he can like produce finds a demonic, so he can like produce his combo stuff. Next turn. But he doesn't have any mana to, to go for it immediately. Okay. He, go, he goes for the salt again. Yeah. I'll just make two six power creatures and smack. Technically, we should have played the land, but... Goes for Shredder. Does he have the combo? Breyer's good. Breyer can kill our dudes. Hmm. Yeah, the Foundry was a big problem here. I think we double the fury and attack on with it. It has to jump. Now we <laughs> need to find lands to hard cast our fetties. Hmm. Yeah, sadly the the Xenagos doesn't give trample. Names Hypergenesis, okay. to get another win condition, but I think it looks pretty grim for us. Puts back the Synthesizer to draw more cards. Now we have to pray. <laughs> Our Genesis was was pretty cool, but a little bit um, unaffected, let's say. Exercise on the graveyard or graveyard again. So show and tell would be good for example here or sneak attack. 
something like that nature take our seven or six hmm. oh that's a good one so there are double land now we have five mana and I mean we can try to jam the Kulagan, but then he puts back the foundry on top and produces his his charm blockers. Maybe it's not the right the right plan. But if he maybe goes to twelve and we can like find a way to finish him in the air. We can win. Our opponent doing crazy artifact stuff here. I think we have to keep this graveyard in mind. Yeah, he like uh, used to wish cloud hands, man, and then on top of that, sacrifice it. Yeah, it goes for a double land. Which makes us very sad. I think, yeah, we're dead, I think. Yeah, our combo was not enough, it seems. I mean, the show and tell can maybe still do something. Okay, we find our 5 mecha kids. Well, I think we can see it here. Okay, our opponent knows now what's up. And, yeah. Can react in a certain way now. I mean, our mulligan to five was still very impressive. Or was four even. Our mulligan to four was still very good. So we have the Cascada, we have a lot of big stuff. We have even the Trample, Indestructible, Xenagos combo. So yeah. This is a keep. We have to just find two lands and then we, we are golden, I think. So I think we. Don't fetch because of deck thinning reasons and wasteland reasons. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. We have the two mana cascade, so we need only one more land. If we find another land on turn two, we can go off. Yeah, there we have it. Let's do broken stuff. Get our red. Get something else untapped. And then start. Or combo. Yeah, now we can put in the Blight Steel Colossus with double the amount of power, and that should be enough, I think. Unless he puts something in like an O Wing or something. So I think we start with Kozilek here. Also land, we put our Ulama. He stops, Xenagos. Still nothing, bad steel. Puts in the engineer. Now is the question you can and later for him, he, have, he has four toughness, or could just even get bigger. So I think it's just doubling the the blight seal. I think. Okay. 
Okay. This is not a legendary. He has a carcass. So he can bounce R2 at Razi Titans. So he tries to search for an answer. Hopefully. He doesn't. Now we try to not, not to mess it up. Double the amount of our trampling, infecting brand and win on turn three. Hmm. You have the unexpectedly results which can put something into play at random. We even cast it. But I think we mulligan here and search for Cascade Spell. We have the morph like as a as a fair option. But we're even on the draw so we need to be fast I think. With the turn four cascade, uh, with even the proxy for the flashback hypergenesis, if we need to. So maybe we just put back like a random fatty. Would be something. We're even good against this card <laughs> of the Throws of Chaos if he doesn't exile our graveyard. And now like, our top decks are just random fatties, I think. Since our whole deck is full of them. We still have two turns to find the last last land. We don't have haste for our guys. Now he just knows his role. But he has to ace. Which he does now. Um Mercer sort sort of the meek. We find our land, so we put our tap land here. So go next turn put in this this whole stuff i think we don't put in the proxy since we can flashback the mm, flashback in the hypergenesis if it doesn't work so we just put in these three and then maybe hit something else on the top okay goes for Map layer, yeah, okay. Just tries to raise us, which is yeah, the way to beat us. Fatty, yeah, haste. We even have haste. I think this is a kill now. It doesn't have a counter spell. So it should be a turn for kill since we give our creatures haste and we have the trampling guy. Cast of Genesis. Now that even means for us that we put in the proxy too. Maybe let's see. I think we put in the proxy at last. If we can. He has also four creatures. Uh, four cards in hand. So we start with a leveler. We just tremble too. declines we put in Bovoidmos. He declines we put in Rod Spider Worm. Still declines we put in the Maelstrom Wanderer. 
and we win since our whole team gets haste. GG's.